off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Hi friends, I had a very rough night last night um, I saw the clock turn at almost 5 a.m. last night. And I don't believe I had gone to sleep before that. I have no idea why. I just, I, my brain was on and my body was exhausted. My eyes were exhausted. Could not function. But I couldn't go to sleep either. So... When my alarm woke up, went off for Ashley this morning at 8 a.m., I got up and I checked on her and I got her up. She was awake, just not out of bed yet. And I just said, you gotta, you gotta do your thing, girl. You gotta get up and get on your own. And then I had her check in with me two more times. Gotta turn off, where's my phone? And then I went back to sleep. Even then, I, could, I, I struggled to go back to sleep. I think I might have slept till 9. But, um, come on. I'm trying to do a garage door opener. I don't know what the deal is. I'm going to try super hard to not have caffeine today because, I don't know, maybe that's it. I mean, normally I can have one caffeine a day and I'm fine, but I can't have it beyond two o'clock so maybe that's it I did yesterday shut the door so I can go anyway so when I did wake up at 9 9 30 I was I was exhausted shut the door the garage door won't shut um so I stayed in bed until 15 minutes ago I was just exhausted and it's 11 o'clock, 11.15 right now. Um, <laughs> Kaylee's actually still in bed, so I beat her, at least. Okay, I can't get this garage door to shut. Hang on. All right, now my neighbor's backing out, so I have a second. I have a bunch of errands that I need to run. I have a sticky note with all of them written on there. Luckily, I stayed up a little bit late last night prepping the kitchen and the house and laundry and putting laundry away I should say like finishing it up I still have a whole new load to start um, but I also prepped my list and set out things for me to do at my computer and one of those things was to go get my nails done and I know there's a lot of controversy but controversy about my nails but I haven't had them done for months now it is October and I don't have a need to get them done necessarily I love having them done. I would love to do like a burnt, like brown color, like a rust color right now, honestly. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but um, I'm, I'm as, soon, as soon as I get there, I'm gonna be tempted to do dip. I know that I am. But my main request right now, I have a gift certificate from Jason, from him for my, our anniversary, I think. And so it's free money, girl math. And I, I just need to get a manicure. My, my cuticles are so rough. They're little itty bitties, you guys. The nails are slowly growing back. There's no more anything on them. They're just slow growing right now. But my cuticles are just kind of torn to shreds because they're so hard. And so I just want to go and get them. I just want a manicure. And there's a good chance I'm going to be suckered into a dip. <laughs> I'm a sucker, but they're healthy right now, and I want them to stay healthy, and I'm going to talk to her. Um, I've gotten advice from some of you, and I'm going to ask them some questions about different types of dip that might be better for my nails in the future. Uh, so, I was able to get that appointment last minute, so I am kind of in a rush this morning, um, just because I was very lethargic in bed. But I've done all my house chores minus a load of laundry. So, and which is my own laundry. So let's go see if I cave in to getting my nails done more than just a manicure. All right, I got suckered. 
kind of, the, the color is a little off. I thought it was going to be a deeper color. Um, I'm actually going to do more of the color of my jacket next time. But I am happy with my new nails. And I did get, I knew they would ask me. They're like, let's do a pedicure. So I did it. I'm not going to show you my feet. I don't show feet. I am at the post office and I think I have a little package from one of you guys, from Patty. She went on a little trip and sent us a little treat. Oh dear. cute her tape is. So cute. And the cute box. She always does cute stuff. Unfortunately, I think the box got stuck. I couldn't get my the door open on the little P.O. box. So there's a little hole in it. I think it got jammed on that. Um, maybe I should just rip it open. <laughs> I don't have any scissors in here. But maybe we'll just take it home and open it there. Next up is the bank. And then I'm going to head home and enjoy my Cafe Rio salad. Yesterday they had a deal on the app. If you spent, or if you bought a salad or a burrito, it was $8 each. Pretty good deal, because they're normally like 12 to $15. So Jason and I got that yesterday and enjoyed it last night. We actually wanted to get it for lunch, um, but they didn't have any other staff members show up. We know how that feels sometimes. So he was just doing online orders and working with one other cook. So we came back a couple hours later and got it when he had a, his evening stuff. So I'm gonna go home and enjoy my salad and um, work on a few things. I might start wrapping up Jason's presents just because I need to keep them hidden. That just makes sense. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. I'm going to wrap some of them up and tuck them away so I don't lose them. I think that's part of the worry. Some of the things um, might be deemed as not a gift. Kind of a fun little thing I'm doing for him. But you'll see soon. You'll see soon. Okay, just got home. And look how cute. I don't know where she finds these boxes. They're so cute. This is what it looks like inside and the outside is like this like wood color, like wood grain or whatever. So she sent a cute little card. I'll open that up. I knew it was coming though. I knew what she sent me. She got this can, uh, what is it called? Um, taffy, saltwater taffy from Maine when she went. So I'm excited to share with the kids. Abby won't be able to eat it because she's got braces on, um, but that's kind of a fun treat. I'm going to find a little bowl to stick it in and we'll just put it here on the counter. Such a cute little card. Just a little way of keeping in touch. It, you guys, like this is, she's just one of our followers. <laughs> and we met them here in Seattle when they flew into town and it's turned into a fun friendship. We chat all the time. So thank you. Thank you, Patty. I'm excited to enjoy right. those. I'm working on a computer, taking some, actually I don't know how much to do, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, but we are getting ready to go with Ashley, I was wondering where this was this morning, to go to her cheer practices, plural. She has her regular um, cheer squad, her Issaquah cheer squad first and I actually get to lead the group in and Ashley's going to lead them in their warm-ups um, as the coach is going to be a little bit late so she's asked me to step in and go in and then we have to ditch out of there after a half hour and mash, mad dash all the, way over it. all the way over to her new competitive cheer squad it's the same coach as the other two squads she was on last year last season but now she is on the competitive squad so there's three she does the competitive squad tonight which is the one that is going to japan next year and then the other two practice tomorrow night for three hours four hours you getting it <laughs> trying to get everyone to understand like 
if I ever can't like take her to any of these, but like, which, which one is she going to? Which bag does she need? I'm like, she has all her bags. I, there's a broom. She gets so close to like, you know, cleaning up the mess, but then she, the utensils t needed to clean the mess up or make a new mess. Okay. Can you put the broom up, Ash? Because I need to get my own water bottle. I haven't decided, I, it's, it might start raining and I don't know for sure if I have, oh hey, how are you doing Jill? We're gonna be gone. I know. Okay, dad is actually like probably close to leaving the store so he'll be home in an hour. Okay. Okay. Is that anyone else home? Abby, I'm like, betting is asleep. Okay. But Kaylee's gone. So, um, what's I gonna say? Um, I was gonna say, I'm not sure if I'm gonna walk if I have the ability to walk inside and I think it's gonna start raining. She really needs to come put this broom away. So while I am not taking like gym clothes, like actual workout clothes, I do have my hokas in here. I'm just gonna put a pair of socks. Um, I might just walk outside. It's a nice night actually, but the potential of rain is super high. So. I might just casually walk around the neighborhood until it's dark, which is gonna be very soon. I don't wanna walk around in the dark, but I don't know the gym situation and my ability to like walk around a gym while they're in a gym. I don't think there's an extra one available for me. So we'll see. Okay, Ashley's here with her friends. We're waiting for cheer to start. Okay, but we are going to take down Where's the, all the little plastic things? You got them all? Okay, you wanna take down the other visor? Oh, you pop them out. Thank you. Ages to put in. It did take a little bit, but we're gonna take them out so that I can have some more sunshine in my car. Let me get the case that goes in. They also wanted to see how the other seats went up. But we're gonna put them back down. Okay, we got the whole window opened up. And I found the little case that goes, that the, the little visors go in. And now I've got all these little parts, but I have a little container for them. I just need to get them into the front seat. <laughs> also, Ashley found her wallet, which means the $50 she has spent on beads is now mine. I'm telling her friends. Because she's been, I've, I've given her this money, correct? Ooh. Wait, what? And out of my money, I, I knew you had $50, but you lost this. I so I've been letting you buy beads out of my pocket. So now that we found this, I get to, to take it fair. from your pocket. To be fair, all the money has gone into your beads for death. <laughs> into my what? Oh, oh goodness sakes, that was not the case. Okay her off we actually come back at the end to talk about fundraising for Japan which is kind of exciting and it's turned into a really nice night it's not that cold out here but I sliced open my toe on the door at the other gym the other school that actually was just that the whole door like swiped across my toe and so it's all bloody scraped on like three different toes <laughs> You know, I don't have a band-aid to put on. Don't really want to put a sock on. So I might just walk around in my flip-flops, but I had to park in the five-minute staff parking. <laughs> so I need to move my car. And then I'll decide what to do for an hour before it gets too dark. All right, we just had our first official Booster Club parent meeting for Japan. Booster Club? Yeah, huh? she needs, she's the, there's one person that is the Booster Club president but her daughter is aging out this year. She's yep. turning, she's 19, so she's aging out. I got her some chicken nuggets yeah. to eat on our way home. So we just had our first meeting and we need to have someone step up and become president, but it was, there was silent crickets. <laughs> Wanted to head it up, but we all want to be a part of the Booster Club as parents to come up with ideas of how to fundraise how to earn money for these kiddos to lower our costs for this trip. And so we're gonna meet again in two weeks at their practice. It seems like the easiest time. We all have to come get our kids. Um, and so we're just gonna meet again and kind of come up with ideas. Um, 
our main one right now is uh, car wash. Brown Bear Car Wash. She already has current tickets that she got at a cheaper price from last year. Um, and so I'm gonna get you selling those tickets and then hopefully we're gonna sign up and hand them out at, or try and sell them at Target. And that's the most you just need to get, spot. Mm -hmm, it's really, it's like Girl Scout cookies. Or in the mall, the mall would be good. Yeah, but I think everyone is just local to Target. We could even do both Targets in both cities. Um, so that was kind of fun because all of us parents were like, all of our families are wanting to go. This is the trip of a lifetime, but we've got to bring our price down, like especially per family. So it's a lot to like, you know, try and manage and figure out and stuff. So, but we're willing to do it. It's going to be quite um, the adventure. I think I alluded to an idea that we've got kind of brewing in order to make it possible for our family to be able to go. We haven't, we haven't finagled it yet. Um, even though we have the official dates for Japan um, and it, we end halfway through our district's spring break. And so we would still have four or five days left of our spring break to come home and do nothing. And so we're gonna do Hawaii. <laughs> But the, the advantage to that is, um, is that we have finally mastered the system of our Hawaiian miles with our Hawaiian miles or our Hawaiian credit cards and our American Express points, um, both of which um, we jack up that monthly balance with business expenses that we run through our business um, and we earn miles and we earn points. And so far, we have earned four of the six plane tickets that we need to go to Hawaii in miles. So the reason why the free miles or plane tickets to Hawaii is beneficial for Japan is because if we are already going to um, Oahu, we're flying into Honolulu for our family trip, that's the island we want to go to next, flights out of Honolulu to Tokyo are a lot cheaper, obviously, than flights out of Seattle to Tokyo. You see where I'm going here? If we can get ourselves to Hawaii for free, then we will spend one night, at, kind of get over the jet lag from that flight. Please don't say we're going to Port Portland. No, we won't go to Portland. Um, because we're going before our spring break, technically. So the prices are gonna be um, a lot easier. Hawaii end of it. So we'll fly to Hawaii, spend a night in Honolulu, take another flight the next morning to Tokyo, um, and that cost saves us about 500 a plane ticket um, on the Japan side, um, which is a ton when there's five of us going. That's $2,000 to $3,000 in savings. Um, so then we would do the Japan side and then we would fly back to Honolulu and we would have some time while we're currently in our spring break to enjoy Hawaii. Kaylee is not going to Japan with us, so that means her flight would join us in Honolulu after Japan and Jacob is gonna come with her. So they would fly separately, meet us in Honolulu. We would do probably a little less than a week in Hawaii as a family and then we'd all fly home. So it's a pretty epic um, trip. It's a lot of time, extra time off of school. Um, but I've already talked to the teachers, um, not the middle school teachers, but I've talked to um, Abby's teachers because she only has three of them. I've talked to them about her surgery and also about this trip. And have I talked to you, your teacher? I talked to your teacher too. Sure, I've already talked to her yeah. about it. And she's, they're all like, dude, this is a chance of a lifetime. Not the Hawaii side of it, because that's during their spring break. That's not taking extra time off. But the Japan side of it, it's a trip of a lifetime all for these kids, yeah. especially to go with a dad who actually speaks Japanese and um, has lived in the culture for two years. And all my stuff is online now. Nothing is in like... Nothing. Well, she can just make up the work. I think it's just going to be easy and it's easy for Abby and Kaylee to make up their college courses because it's all online anyway. They're going to just do it along the way. 
it's just crazy. Um, but we've got to work through like what are our actual costs um, for the rest of the trip to Japan um, to make sure that we don't have any extra costs aside from our hotel um, and paying for our own plane tickets. If we can manage that with booster sales of car wash tickets. <laughs> and honestly, if you guys have, I don't know if Brown Bear is just a Washington car wash. Um, if you guys want to leave me a comment down below, if you have Brown Bear car wash, yeah. um, car washes in your state, um, or if you live here in Washington state and you want to buy Brown Bear car wash tickets, um, Ashley will sell them to you and I can just mail them to you. That is not even a problem at all. It's dark. I'm on the highway. Let me know in the comments below if you guys ever want to um, want to have the chance to buy um, the car wash tickets and then we will let you know if we do any other fundraisers that are more of a national online um, option where you just order it yourself, you pay for it yourself then and then me. it would just directly ship to you. Um, we will let you know of those as we come up with those fundraisers. Um, but also if you just want to support her and you want to donate, um, maybe I will set up my Venmo so you guys can make special contributions to her in order to um, support her um, portion to get her to Japan. You don't need to support the rest of us. I would rather know that that was specifically paying for Ashley herself and the portion that she's responsible for. How much, what are you responsible for to, in terms of getting yourself to Japan? 500. It's roughly $500. She is, every one of my children are given the opportunity to, to pay for half of their plane ticket um, in order to go. And it's an opportunity. It is not anything but that. It is an opportunity to go to Japan, so they are gonna pay for ha half of their plane ticket. Um, and so, if you want to help bring that cost down for Ashley by, currently at $20. by uh, sponsoring her, that's what we'll call it, sponsoring you. Because currently I only have $20. So. Yeah, she has $20 to her name right now. You stole my no, you team. have two babysitting jobs, doggy daycares coming up. Um, but let me know if you want that as an option and I will um, put my Venmo down below because we all know that the good old YouTube takes very large portion of super things.